walking out onto the international stage for the first time as a woman. From New Zealand, Laurel Hubbard. <laughs> Laurel Hubbard knew all eyes were on her, and her first attempt betrayed some anxiety. <laughs> But in front of cheering teammates, she soon showed the strength that's made her a national record holder and a figure of controversy. The 39-year-old who weighed in at 9 kilograms more than anyone else, topped her own personal best and beat her closest rival. Hello everybody, it's James here with James Smith Fitness. And as you just saw, that was a clip of a transgender athlete who complete, competed in weightlifting. Now this story broke out probably, I think it was a year and a half ago, somewhere around that area, a year ago maybe. And of course she's a transgender, but she killed the whole competition because she once was a man and she trans, uh, she transferred himself or she became a woman. Now, the the question becomes, do women or do transgendered people have advantages and or disadvantages in competitive sports? So yeah, I'm going to get into that. So, transgender, obviously, if you are a man... You produce testosterone, and if you're a woman, you'll produce estrogen. Both produce the same, both produce both hormones, but men have a higher quantity of testosterone. It's the primary hormone in the male, and then estrogen is the primary hormone in the female. Um, giving the fact of this, Testosterone is way more anabolic than estrogen. Estrogen is mildly anabolic. Men have higher, bigger bones, bone structures, more muscle fiber distribution, and things like that. So, what it boils down to is women having a disadvantage in sports than men. And men being stronger than women, men being faster, etc. Now, when you become a transgender athlete or a transgender person, so let's say if you're transgendering from male to female, the you're transgendering from male to female, so you're taking your taking estrogen and trying to blunt testosterone, and if you get your testicles removed, um that will further drop the testosterone level. Now, the thing is, transgender, even if they start producing estrogen and go on, even if they start stop producing testosterone and going on to estrogen, um, they're still going to have bigger bone structures, they're still going to have different muscle fiber distributions, they're still going to have the biological components of being a male that women will not have simply because they were born a male and they went through puberty as a male. And it's as simple as that. And it works both ways with transgender athletes because if a male transitions to a female and competes in the female category or team, he's going to have an advantage simply because he was a male. If a female transitions to a male, it's going to be a disadvantage because you don't have the same bone structure and everything like that. So either way, you're at a loss. And either way, the other other competitors have a disadvantage because you have the advantage. And it is not fair. Granted, 
all almost all competitive athletes are on performance enhancing substances, but we're supposed to limit or we're supposed to negate those biological differences and those differences between the genders and the sexes. Now, I I think that transgenders should be allowed to compete. They just have to have their own uh, league. They should not compete against men and women. Because all they're doing is just setting themselves up either for success, unfair success, or for just failure. Because they just have that disadvantage. Now, when you look at these transgender athletes, you might think, well, well they should be able to compete. Yeah, but not in the same degree that men and women do. Also, I I think the one exception or the one scenario that I would say okay to is let's say if the female is transitioning to a male but competing in the male team or the male category in a non-contact sport that is okay but in the real other sports other contact sports no no they they just have either a disadvantage or an advantage and it does not equal the playing field and all this stuff about equal rights and stuff Really, it's BS because why should why should somebody lose their scholarship because they lost to a transgender athlete? It's not fair. Or why should they not win even though they really deserve to win because of the way society is and the way things were brought to them under their control under that weren't under their control. And I think that they should all be at least by the biological sense and by the gender sense unequal field. Alright guys, I hope this video has been useful and I'll talk to you all next time.